Welcome back guys, James here, and here we have for something new in this channel. Um, this is the game known as Equivoc. It, it's like a visual, it, it's more of a visual novelette. That's about uh, our apprentice who is have a conflict between a con artist and a magi an escape artist magician. So, the reason I have, I have interest in this game because one point is that the art style kind of remind me the, the art style is really unique. It kind of reminds me of one of the animators, the one who did for Markiplier and Jacepticeye. It kind of reminds me of one of those. And also plus the kind of reminds also well with the Flash games from... You know that kind of Flash game before? It, it, about Alice from Alice from Alice of Wonderland. Uh, that he, she's gone missing and she was murdered. That kind of Flash game before. It was a point in click as well. It kind of reminds me of one of those kind of things. It's not... It's actually... It's actually still brand new. I never heard a lot of it. It was just released yesterday. I'm not sure when this video is gonna be uploaded anyway. So, Equibook. So I'm not gonna. I'm not really too sure about this game as well. I'm not sure if it is long, short. I'm not really sure about anything at all because this is still new. I'll be honest. It's still fresh new in Steam. I gotta be honest. Only it's very cheap. I'll be honest. It's very very cheap. And I heard this is originally to be on uh, on a uh, mobile. It's in one of a mobile game before, so I'm kind of surprised here right now. So okay, let's try new game. Hey, kid. neat. Okay, okay, um, okay. So I know the protagonist is a girl. Okay, the protagonist is a girl, and uh, me could be the boy. Okay, um, hey, kid. Is someone talking to me? Probably not. Hey, kid, wake up. That was fast. Uh, but it's gonna be difficult. Oh dear. If I was Nico B right now, he'll ace this. Okay, okay. Are you a boy or a girl? Not really sure. Mint. That's a bit vague, I'm gonna be honest, it's a bit androgynous. Okay, fine, I'll just stick to normal voice and then I'll go to the theme. Go to I know I know her already, so let's go. Good morning. <laughs> oh yeah, there's also, there's also choices here, so there could be multiple endings. Okay, let me see. I was just resting my eyes. Good night. <laughs> okay, okay, I see where it's going. Okay. I was just resting my eyes. Where are you now? Well, that's a new one. Doesn't seem like a good idea doing business hours. Oh, screw you. You know, I thought to myself, it can't possibly be that yeah, that the young rabbit minding that shop is asleep, is asleep in the middle of the business hours, and yet, oh dear. And yet here we are. It will do me good. Remember that I am often wrong. Um, he was on my lunch break. Thank you very much. He was on my lunch break. Thank you very much. Wait, wasn't the door locked? Um, have we met somewhere before? Um, wait, wasn't the door locked? Wait, I'm not really sure. Um, I was on my lunch break. Thank you very much. It's three p.m. Uh oh. Wait, I know you. You're the Miss Splendid. Splendid. Okay, not really sure yet if you're a boy or a girl. How are you trying to smell you? Okay, never mind. Um. Why are you in my uh, Master Saber Glass Magic Shop? Sable Glass? Really sorry, guys, if I can't do the female voice. But I did it for Namia's game move before. It was kind of bit di difficult, especially kind of bit awkward. I was able to nail it at first, but. Ah, oh, man. Okay, I'll try to do normally. I gotta do. I'll try to improvise the voice. I'm not really sure how long is this as well. So this is what all Saber Sable Glass are trying to do, right? And what are you exactly? Uh, I'm a bunny. Okay, that's really a bit obvious. Oh, that's a bit obvious. I'm a bunny. <laughs> how will I say that? Okay, okay, fine. I'm Master Sable Glass Apprentice. It's that so? Ah, then I think this will interest you. Think of a card. Any card. Hmm, which one, which one? Oh, never mind. Think of the ace. Tell me when to stop shopping. Oh, oh. No? Is this the card you were thinking for? Thinking of? Let's <laughs> do a ton of words, even. Ah. Uh, whoa, how did. Oh, wait, that's a bit. I'm a bit, I'm a friend, so I was supposed to know you, so... Still don't try to I can do that. Keep it together, dear. I know it was amazing, but it wasn't that amazing. 
What's your name again? Huh? Ah, fine, let's do this. Wow! <laughs> wow, how do you know to do that? You should know better than to ask a magician a question like that. Especially if you're one of Sable and Bass. I knew it, I knew it, but he said to me, What's the choice for that? I don't have the choice for that, but. Never mind, never mind. You should know better than to ask a magician to question like that. Especially if you're one of Sable, Sable Grass. You must see potential in you deep, 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 deep down. I'll tell you what, though. I'll teach you how to do it if you can help me with something. Sable Grass will be so impressed he'll probably forgo the slow sales thing. Are you some kind of wizard? Okay, where are your choices here? I'm pretty sure there's, there's, there's a bunch of choices here. No, I'm not a wizard, and if I said I was, you shouldn't believe me in this ca that case either. You do well to be more skeptical to all of people. What did you say your name was? Bunch? Okay, okay. Bunch? Bunch Pushin. I'm not sure how you, how you pronounce that. Okay, oh, sorry, sorry that, was, that was hurt. Bunch Pushin. Bunch Pushin. Really like the... Well, anyway, Bunt. Bunt, Bunt. Ah, ah, fine, let's go to it. Bunt, because it's more of a fun of our bunny. Well, anyway, Bunt, I'll teach you that trick if you help me with something. Um, what kind of something? We have lots of things here at the magic shop. Can I interest you in... Oh, dear. Okay, so he's a uh, con artist, so I'm thinking of... No, no, cabin, that's the old cabin. But he's all in the wardrobe, except the set. <laughs> except the con. <laughs> okay, fine, let's go to medium room. I'm not being fun of those. They remind me of my mother. Oh, I'm not here for supplies. I'm actually in the market for an ancient young so and so to help me with a bit of a problem. More than a problem, more of a scourge, really. A scourge? I don't really see how it would be very helpful. I mean, I still don't think I'd probably unquote for the job I have now. And what I think? Oh, never mind. Not at all. Uh, no, not, not at all. You're perfect. Me? Perfect? Wouldn't you just quiz on me for sleeping on the job? Come now, that's in the past. You shouldn't lean to things like that, especially if we're going to be working together. What's it? What's it? Why is it? Why is it you need to help me? There's a fellow known in the previous part as Sir Barnabas. You might have heard of him. He's engaged in a rather unsavory act of speaking to the dead, which I'm hoping you are already aware is a fraudulent activity. The trick I just showed you is illusory. However, unlike myself, Barnabas claimed to have supernatural powers, a dangerous distinction between the two of us. Now, just in general, I find this practice unsavory, but there's a personal element here. My brother, Fennel, has been taken as a charlatan. He's been spending all his wages on Barnabas' show and plunging, his into, and plunging into financial reward for the chance to talk to his deceased lover. Dude, that's not gonna help you, man! No, seriously. Seriously, why won't you wait all your m I'm gonna be honest to you. <laughs> how, much did, how much did you pay, pay him just to talk to him? I gotta be honest, there, there are some things, but it's really unbelievable yet. Some things you can even fool you, man. I learned that from a lot from other games who did the same thing. Um, I don't know, what if he really has magic powers? Did he had your brother's choice? Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't know, let's try to think of this first. <laughs> That's the most logical. I'm very still consumed by grief to take rational choices right now. Oh, never mind. I think that makes sense. It's my job to stop you from leaping headfirst into a natural ruin for a short time, pain relief. I guess that's a good point. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I guess that's a good point. The people, these people are con artists, using lead questions and genetic statements to get information out of people. It's called cold reading. Is that actually a thing? I'm not really sure. You know a lot about this. What are you stopping yourself? Good question. I can't get close enough to Barnabas without him getting wise. I'm famous after all. His shows are different than most who speak to the dead. His predictions are weirdly specific. This is something he's doing that I can't, figure, can't quite figure out. I need someone who can investigate unnoticed. Someone like an instant young rabbit with a general knowledge of magic who can report back to me. <sighs> okay, okay. And if I do this, you'll teach me your card trick? Is that all you're gonna teach? Is, oh, okay, I'll put this one to teach her. Only your card trick, none other else. <laughs> If you do this, you'll gain much more than a card trick, my dear one. You'll gain the satisfying knowledge that you were performing in the service of the truth. 
I did not. <laughs> I did, I just want the card. Dick. Yeah, nothing else, nothing more. I'm uh, fine. In service of the two? Yes, in service of the two, in Tokyo's justice, just begin to be reborn. As magicians, it is our noble pursuit to expose those who would use our craft for evil. The difference between us and them is that we were the label of faker probably. The moment we take the, that label off, it gives us a lot of power over people. Power the cause of our morals. So what do you say? So it's all about integrity, huh? Just the way how they see all of you. Uh, yeah, we don't like that all the time. That's fast. I mean! Okay. Okay, but only because I only want to be a plucky protagonist. I <laughs> guess what I'm not another two. Now I'll choose this one. Oh, I'm, the, I'm the main I'm the main protagonist here. I cannot die as well. Beautiful, you need this. What? Uh, Auntie Julie. It looks like from those voice. Is that a microphone? That hidden microphones? No, it's, no, it's neither of these things. I'm just going to let me do it by the hold. I'll just this one instead. Of course it won't. Probably, maybe it won't electro electrocute you. I'm pretty sure it won't. It's a remote communication device disguised as a brooch. I used to use it in my mom and I earlier at I'm going to use this to stay in contact with you and advise you from afar. Now I lost the other one by finangle a radio mic here in Sable Glass Shop to work on its frequency. Got it? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Oops, got a little close to my sorry, oh, it works. It's working pretty it's working properly though. Absolutely perfect. This way I can guide you no matter where you are. I think it's time I sent you out on your own. Don't look scared. I'll be right here with you. I'll quote you to it as if you were trying to get into on Barnabas of his favorite town. Picture the picture on Lime Street. Oh dear. Alright, so it's time you learn the proper art of questioning people. I get to the heart of things. You see, there are plenty of people in this room, and like old people, their opinions on things, and some of those opinions are wrong. The way we are going to approach this is with the Socratic method. Oh dear. The so I know you're going to try and interrupt me with some nonsense, so I'm, I'm, so I'm not gonna giving you the chance this time. The Socratic method is essentially this. Essentially this. A good idea A good idea takes work, and often people views don't stand up to stupidity. The more questions you ask, the more holes the opposition puts in your in its own argument. So just keep asking questions. You got good instincts, so I think you'll figure out the right kind of questions to ask. Okay, okay. Sorry. So it's kind of more of like questioning people. It's kind of more like the Ace Attorney style, you know, like you keep on questioning until they made they made a flop. It's kind of like find the holes in their argument, something like that. So the more questions you ask, the more holes in the opposition put in its own argument. So it's short. You have to find the truth, something like that. Sooner or later, your opponent will realize that they don't have an answer to they don't have an answer to one of your questions, or they fall into a fallacy. A fallacy in this concept is a dishonest argument that isn't blocked by logic. And then isn't backed by logic. Oh, okay. This is really like Ace, this is really like the Ace Attorney, Ace Attorney style. So the more they the more they lie, the more they, they won't they won't hold much water anymore. Something like that. Okay. Either way, that that's how you know you got them. Um. I wasn't going to interrupt you with nonsense. I wasn't going to interrupt you with nonsense. How will I know when they're using a fallacy? I really need a good voice for this, to be honest. It's kind of a bit high pitched. How will I know when they're using fallacy? I'll let you know via the bridge. Okay, it's more tutorial. It's mean. Oh, Mrs. Smith! I'm glad that if a person believes I never tested, they'll never know how rational they are. They, might, they may go home and think about a better argument for next time. So, oh yeah, it's really like more lying right now. I wasn't going, I wasn't going to interfere with nonsense. I'm sure. Now no, go, give it a try. So it's gonna... Okay. Or keep it here. Go. Come back. Uh, hello. May I help you with something? Uh huh. Uh, let me go straight to the point or let's go with Um, is this coffee good? Yes, it is. I'm not going to share it with you, though. You're a little young for coffee. Sorry. <laughs> Will you press each other? No, no way. Oh, don't tell me. Okay, do it again, do it again. Coffee, oh, sorry, I haven't taught them. Okay, hello. Okay. Can you tell me anything about Sir Barnabas? Sorry, I never heard of that person. He sounds fancy though. 
I have no, I have nothing to back up. To be honest, this is the only choices I have. Oh. Oh. Um. All right. Girl. All right, you. Uh, all right. You're kind of a weird child with weird eyes, but I got some time to spare. I'll put forth the notion that a fish is an animal that's swim. Oh, okay, okay. But how do you swim? Does it make them a fish? Alright, then to amend my notion, a fish is an animal that swims and has scales. But, but don't tongues need swim? They have scales. To also to amend my notion further, a fish is an animal that swims, has scales, and has fins. Are you happy with this notion? I accept your notion and have no further question. Okay. <sighs> oh, that was a wrong answer. Oh! Okay. Oh, okay. This one that has made them a fish. Oh, I didn't know. I thought this was a bit of a fish. Okay, okay. I think we could push it right now. Right, how? Oh. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I get I get what you meant, King. Turns don't have skills, but they, have a, um, they, have, they, have, they are still fish. What is the metal music? Not all fish swim, but they all live in water. Eel doesn't have fins, but they do like limbs. An important part of the fish is that they have gills. Uh, I think all of the above. Okay, so a fish is an animal that lives in the water, sometimes has scales, lacks limbs, and has skills. How's that? Okay, now I accept it. Nicely, nicely done. It's always important to be precise, and questioning helps us to get perceived. Okay, now this is a bit, a bit, it's a bit more precise to be honest. You feel a bit smarter and also more coming that you know what a fish is. That's <laughs> okay. I think that's more of a tutorial. Back. Oh, hello. Hello there. Um, I don't know what John is. <laughs> the, oh, the voice. It's really hard to voice one of these things. Hello there, um, do you want something from the bar? Can you tell me anything about Sir Barnabas? Uh, huh, you know it's funny, Ross? I was just at one of his shows. You were? Can you tell me anything about the show? No, I actually can. I can I can have this hearing aid and, and that stupid thing went out right as the show was started. Talk about timing, I could barely hear anything. I thought it going bad, but it's so expensive. I see. I see. You, you are? Can you tell me about anything about Sir Barnabas? Okay. Hmm, he's a fancy dresser. Anything else stand out about him? Oh, yeah, I actually sort of self conscious about being at the show. My hearing aids were at arc. I couldn't, really, I couldn't really hear anything, I just had to go off the visual, so I noticed that Sir Barnabas have hearing aids too. I thought that was really cool, it made me feel, that I feel less insecure about myself. So he has hearing aids, okay. Are you sure about that? What do you mean he's a fancy dresser? I'm really sorry about this, the voicing, sorry. I don't know, he had some cool parts going on. I think he wore Argyll socks, he has a neat hat, stuff like that, okay. Thank you for your time. Timmy Diddy, who? That's a who? Hey, what do you want? I just want to talk. To talk? What are you? Some kind of tiny therapist. It is gonna cost money. It won't cost any money, but I'm not a tiny therapist. I'm a magician apprentice. My name is Bunt. Well, Bunt. My name is who? If you're not here to let me pour my soul out to you, beat it. For all I know, you might be a tiny cop. Yeah, I kind of more of a go with that top straight, because even though I keep on denying it, I'm pretty sure it was still... Oh, I'm not pretty sure about this. Alright, you can't be a tiny cop, so you've been out of my question, who are you? I'm still going to interrogate you, um... Even though you, you believe I'm a cop, I'm still going to interrogate you. I'm... I'm who skinny, Professor. Haha, <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. What do you know about Sir Barnabas and his shows? Tell me! Uh, uh, officer, I know it's wrong to sell counterfeit tickets to his shows. I swear, and those t-shirts... Counterfeit tickets? 
he doesn't see a profit from them, I know, but I just use them to supplement my drawing classes. Our school is expense, I don't, I didn't think he admits a few commented things. Please don't take me to jail. Do you know anything about the drawing charts to that? What? No, I'm just a simple user. I don't know anything about the super spirit world. I'm oh, sorry, are you pursuing some sort of murder, some sort of supernatural? Are you working a case with Barnabas? I should have intervened sooner, but I was enjoying this a bit in spite of myself. I should have intervened sooner, but I'm doing this in spite of myself. This is a classic case of fallacy. Even children can comprehend. Jump into conclusions. This fellow has been making assumptions in this whole conversation without considering the easy available evidence. Why do you not teach him about it? Big sentence, I'm not... Oh my god. Tiny cow. Tiny cow. Tiny cow. Well, I'm a dear little child. I'm a short pants. Where is my plate for this match? You didn't even, even ask to see it. Also, that thing you said about a trap man made this in well. I would never tell you if I wasn't really a police or ask more questions next time. No, really. I don't even have a police badge. Does this look like a police badge? I mean, you know, it looks like a microphone. But I'm pretty sure I'm not a police badge. I'm pretty sure I'm not a police badge. Wait like that. I guess I should have probably asked my question. It's all a little bit obvious now that I think about it. <laughs> I feel silly. Thanks for teaching me a lesson, kid. I'll say you're right. This feels kind of good. No, sorry. This feels kind of good. What does? I don't know this. I think go to the, to the good route. Well, keep on it then. For once, you don't have to play the apprentice. It isn't just that I mean, it's definitely good feeling. So keep at it. As I'm a junior person, charging people's ideas is probably new to you, but that's probably exciting. You're used to being the one who's challenged. Now, you get to do the challenging and that's good. It's an expression of helping, even if some people don't see it that way. There are a lot of people in the world who need their ideas challenged, and many in the world who will challenge ideas you need to change as well. Then he says to me, do it, Mr. B. Oh, that you're new. Ah, uh, Dr. Jake, how do I keep this voice? Do it. And then he says to me, do it, Mr. B. Your basic cubes are so magnificent, so developed. I just have to, have to, I just have to have you in my inner circle. And that's how Cernabas took me to his inner circle. Uh, you know, you kind of a more of a Jason, are you? Not really. As a plucky protagonist, I humbly accept this plot convenience. So me, oh, 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 so amazing how short your powers you can miss it to it. Yeah, come on, I we can't really hear you guys. Could you speak up? All right, if you insist. Uh, amazing, you just bent, you bend the spoon, man. So supernatural. I still can hear you, but I was, but what I saw was so cool. Okay, let's take I have a question about your psychic dreams. Hey, you're pretty big for your short pants, little bunny. I need to answer your question. Can you just fix your eyes on this? Okay, um... No, okay, bending a spoon doesn't prove that there's no natural cause for it. I'm pretty sure I know you're, you're bending the spoon. That's so, if you're wrong, but to kick your butt up this bar is short pants. And if I'm right... And if I'm right, you have to tell me about the Barnabas. Yeah. Oh, it could be this one. Using real spoon, but you're bending on the table, then disguising the bend using the angle sitting, you bend the spoon with your mind. What? You're not bending the spoon at all. You're letting the handle... You're letting the handle grip slide in your hand. Oh! Oh, that could be too. Is that how the trick works? That's how the trick works for bending spoons? Really? Not a picture. You're not bending the spoon at all. You're letting the handle grip slide in your hands. I can see it! Ha, ah, total not a deal, so deal. Sure, fine, spot you go. Obviously, the real answer is I'm using my total amazing psychic powers. Pint. What the? Who are you? What the? Who are you? What's with the sack? Mint! Mint! No. You 
get what you want, kid. You, go, you get to see Barnabas. He's found his kidnapping! You'll never take me alive! Hmm, might want to take a look around, kid. I already have. So you might as well relax a bit. Oh, man! I bet you I want to kill you right now! And I need a drink! That's gonna be weird, bro! The sun sign, I think. Well, this is going to be pretty boring, dude. Guard! Guard! Guard con. Okay, I think we may be off here for a while, guys. I might save. Okay, save. Oh, I have different slots. Okay, this will be good. Okay, save for that. Okay, okay. Done. Okay, so that's Ectivork for a while. I'm not pretty sure if you guys want to see more of this. I'm really sorry, guys, if this is really actually different. But the art is really pick my interest in interest the most um I mean look at it I gotta be honest it's kind of bit unique I'm, even in, even though it's more of a visual novel it, it's kind of bit different for once for once and I kind of like the dialogue I kind of like the dialogue it's not very much of a stale one but I kind of really like the, the choice they give but some of them kind of be drags drags on like one of those three choices I have to click all of them I'm pretty sure that could be a, a branch out. I'm pretty sure it could be branched out, but anyway, I think that's all for that's all for the day for once. This is Equable, this is still brand new. I'm not pretty sure how I judge this game yet. However, so far it's gonna be funny. Good night, and here we are, Barnabas is still here. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, oh, subtitles. Mysterious oh. island. And what's okay, this? The shore is riddled with little friend-sized footprints. I guess the tide brought them to land. How utterly convenient! <laughs> but where have they got to? No, I don't. You? I don't. I you? Do. I don't. <laughs> to welcome to Battle Block Pier. Oh yeah. Oh, Go inside. This. No, thank you. The, the door. No. When you? Any time. Okay. You have a good history, if you like this. I'm pretty sure your hat will be on fire.